Uh, Dr. Capilouto came to the university in 2011. His educational and professional career has been in medicine, so it's essentially a career of helping people. I think in agriculture, we have a career of nourishing people. So I think we have a lot of things in common between those two professions. Mr. President, we are really honored to have you here. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for all your work and your thoughtfulness in thanking so many people. A day like today reminds us of our responsibility at the University of Kentucky to be the university for Kentucky. And like most of everything we do, I get to say often we owe it to the success because of the work of many mothers and fathers. And this was certainly the case in the long list that you read. And I'm glad to see such crowd here today. I'm getting used to it. I have the honor of representing the faculty, staff, and students who really make everything happen at UK and across our Commonwealth. And our challenge has been, even though we built 7,000 new residence hall beds, we don't have enough. Thanks to the support of the General Assembly and all, we opened a new hospital just nine years ago. We run out of beds there someday. We opened a $270 million research building and we're running out of space there as our grants go upward. And thank you for believing in us because we believe in you. We have a responsibility every day to ask ourselves what is wildly possible. We start with one assumption that nothing is impossible. That question has been asked for over 150 years by those of us who now have inherited a legacy that is our responsibility to cherish and pass on. And we certainly are doing so here today, and I remember at the groundbreaking when I heard those farmers who referred to their parents and what this center meant to them when it was birthed in 1925. So it's so important that we carry on the work and answer the questions that they asked then and the questions that confront us today. But it is only together, together, that we're able to do all this. This center reflects our 21st century land grant mission. Agriculture is certainly fundamental, as Chad uh, has added, not just for our economy, uh, but for our sustenance. And the innovation underway here and the questions being answered advance that work. And I was glad to hear Chad mention that not only is the work we do here important to the Commonwealth, it is important to the world. And that further strengthens our capacity and curiosity to ask ourselves what's possible. And we, on, we always know every day we can only answer that question together. And so this today shows the possibilities of what collaboration and shared vision can mean. Chad acknowledged the Kentucky Agricultural Development Board, and there's so many others to thank. If you work at the University of Kentucky, you're blessed to have board members, trustees McCoy and Bowen that are here today that offer us guidance. We have our ag chairs and the members of the General Assembly that have been supportive of what we do. We have many other elected officials here, including Commissioner Quarles. And then we have a fantastic dean in Nancy Cox. So I am grateful to all of you for helping us to build upon our legacy at service that stretches from Paducah to Princeton to Pikeville. All of you, all of you, we are here to serve and answer those questions about what is wildly possible. Thank you all very much.